Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Oh, hi there. Sorry about that. I was just uh, <clears throat> fixing my wife. Uh, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Um, everything's normal. I was just running a program there. That was that was that was Ponzi. And uh, the program I happened to be running was Photoshop Elements. This, of course, is a product from Adobe that is a more regular user-friendly version of their flagship product. Photoshop. Now, uh, the user known as MX came into the chat room earlier and was specifically asking, well, does Photoshop Elements run on Windows Vista? Uh, and the answer, uh, if you couldn't tell, is yes. I'm, I'm running Windows Vista there on the desktop, and that was Photoshop Elements. It runs fine on Windows Vista. Now, the UI, I've never really been thrilled about, and it certainly doesn't look any better on Windows Vista than it did inside of Windows XP, but I'm not here to talk about Windows Vista specifically, I'm here to tell you about Adobe Photoshop Elements. Now, there are many ways you can go about editing your photos, and certainly there are times that you just want to organize them, or you just want to have them around, or you just want to change maybe one or two things about one particular photo, and there are plenty of ways that you can do this. Uh, years ago, Adobe Photoshop was really the only way uh, you could edit photos, at least from Adobe, there were plenty of products that are available, uh, were available back then. In fact, I cut my teeth on Paint Shop Pro. That dates all the way back to Windows 3.1. I've been using it that long. Unfortunately, me, unfortunately, not only have I lost my ability to speak, but uh, I no longer have a license for Paint Shop Pro, at least the latest version from Corel. Uh, and quite honestly, it's not really been actively developed in the past few years. I have uh, been using in, in recent months uh, photo filter uh, to edit photos. Some people I know in the chat room are saying GIMP. Paint.net is free. Paint.net is is okay. I think photo filters got a much more rich feature set. Uh, Photoshop Elements. I, I if I had a choice between all of them, I would probably use Photoshop Elements before I used uh, Photoshop proper, just because it's the tools are just much more easier to use. Uh, the learning curve is far less steep in terms of jumping in and, and starting to edit your photos. But I can tell you, uh, if I just need to do simple adjustments, brightness, contrast, maybe some sharpness, adjusting for red eye, uh, cropping, you just basic photo editing stuff, uh, I use Picasa. And I've been using Picasa since it was shareware for $30. It was the best $30 I think I ever spent. Uh, of course, Google acquired Picasa and has now made it free, not only for Windows, but Linux users as well. Kind of baffles me why they haven't released a version for OS X at this point, and I'm hoping they're working on that. That's the one thing I would just love to have on OS X is Picasa, because it's a easy tool, it's fast, it's efficient, it's clean, user interface is great. Um, there are very few complaints that I have about Picasa. I think it's just a matter of time before it ultimately does get ported to OS X. I'd be surprised if they weren't working on it right now. Uh, so uh, there are many ways you can go about editing your photos. Uh, uh, Photoshop Elements is one of them. Obviously, I'm running it. I use it. I do recommend it. Photoshop Proper is another way. GIMP, Photo Filter. I'm just naming these all again because these are the ones that I use. But what about you? What do you use to edit your photos? Do you use shareware, regular old box software? Do you just use whatever came with your computer? Or do you know of freeware or open source programs that people either know about or maybe they don't know about? Share your thoughts and feelings about photo programs. Do you feel for your photo editing program? I know I love Picasa. I didn't think I could love a program, but I love Picasa. I mean, if I could have married... No, I'm very glad I married Ponzi, and I'm very happy I have the privilege of being able to edit her photos. And there's really not much you can do. In fact, uh, I have to actually use Photoshop Elements to make her look worse because she looks so good in real life. I actually have to tone her down because then people don't, you know, they don't believe me. I have to actually, on the web, she looks worse than she does in real life. In real life, she's, like, really beautiful. And I hope I got out of that one. Anyway, leave a comment, follow up, remark, question, whatever. You can email me, chris at perillo.com, or just, you know, swing by the chat room. We're there 24 hours a day, uh, talking shop, talking Photoshop, talking Photoshop elements. Hey, even if I'm not active, these people certainly are. In some cases, hyperactive. There's only one place you got to know where to go, and what that domain happens to be is...
Oh, uh, there we go. Live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.